Good morning and welcome to the latest update on the worldwide news. We hope to cover the news not only on COVID-19 but also all the other wonderful stories happening around the world. On the 12th of April, the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson was discharged from St Thomas's Hospital in London where he was treated after becoming very ill because of the COVID-19. After leaving the hospital, Johnson recorded a video message thanking the NHS staff who looked after him. He is now staying at Chequers, the UK Prime Minister's official country home in Buckinghamshire to continue his recovery. Farrell Williams' song Happy has been named as the decade's most played song on UK radio and TV between 2010 and 2019. The track, written for the film The Speak of Women 2, was released in 2013. Research by BBC Radio 2 and PPL, a music company, shows that it beat Adele's Rolling in the Deep into second place. Maroon 5 moves like Jagger came third, followed by Daft Punk's Get Lucky in fourth, and Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling in fifth place. Hundreds of homes in southern US have been destroyed by a series of tornadoes. A tornado is a rapidly spinning common column of air that moves across the land and sucks things up to other clouds. At least 26 people have died as a result of storms on the 12th of April. Buildings were flattened by the tornadoes and the, there were reports of flooding and more than 900,000 people were left without power. A two-week pause in fighting in Yemen began on the 9th of April. The Yemeni government, which is, the Yemeni government, which is supported by Saudi Arabia and the healthy rebels, are trying to remove the Yemeni government from power and have been fighting for five years. This has left the country badly damaged. The pause was agreed so Yemen could deal with the coronavirus outbreak. Now for some of the other wonderful news happening globally. First up, a zombie has been born in the Chilulu Hills National Park. It was thought that a mother zebra were mating with a donkey, a donkey while living with a cattle herd. People were working for Sheldrick Wildlife Trust who made the discovery said, working with wildlife one needs to expect the unexpected. Even the most seemingly straightforward story can end up, up surprising us all. Next, on 22nd April 1970, 20 million, 20 million people gathered across the US to celebrate planet Earth. This was the beginning of an annual event called Earth Day, which reached its 50th anniversary this year. The idea came from a US politician, Gaylord Nelson, after he saw the effects of oil spill off the coast of, coast of California. Organise it, Nelson joined forces with another politician named Pete McClosey and Dennis Hayes, a student at Harvard University. Despite Earth Day's success, it wasn't until 1990 it became a worldwide event, and to celebrate its 20th anniversary, Hayes helped to organise Earth Day events around the globe. People living in Robin Hood Bay near the town of Whitby, New Yorkshire, England were shocked to see a Dalek roam the streets telling them to stay indoors because of the coronavirus outbreak. The Daleks are a type of alien species in the TV series Doctor Who. They live inside robotic shells and are known for their terrified catch with exter exterminate. This Dalek was heard saying, by the order of all Daleks, all humans must stay indoors. All humans must self-isolate. It is unknown who was controlling the Dalek. Some people said they found the Dalek funny. Residents in the city of Jalandhar in northern Punjab, India, say that they can see the Himalayan mountains for the first time in 30 years. The view is clearer because of air pollution has dropped thanks to people staying at home during the coronavirus outbreak. Harbhajan Singh, who played cricket for the international team, said that he never imagined it would be possible to see the mountains from his rooftop. A British puzzle maker has built the world's largest Rubik's Cube. This is the second time that Tony Fisher has achieved the world record having in succeeded in 2016. However, two years later his record was broken by a science museum in Canada. Fisher who became interested in Rubik's Cube when he was 14, set out to get his record back and spent a whole total of £2,000 and 330 hours to do so. The cube is more than two metres long on each side. It was just like a normal Rubik's cube, except you had to flip 
the whole thing over to move one of the vertical sides. Thank you, and with this we come to the end of our news report. Bye!